Hi everybody. Here's a new book we're going to start reading. It's from the Magic Tree Host series. It's called Dolphins at Daybreak. Chapter 1, Master Librarians. Jack stared out the kitchen window. The sun was not up yet, but the sky was growing lighter. Jack had been awake for a long time, and he'd been thinking about the dream he'd had, the dream about Morgan Le Fay. The tree house is back, Morgan had said. I'm waiting. Jack wished the dreams were real. He missed Morgan's magic tree house. Jack, his little sister Annie appeared in the doorway. We have to go to the woods now, she said. Why? Jack asked. I had a dream about Morgan, exclaimed Annie. She said the tree house is back and he, she is waiting for us. That was my dream, said Jack. Oh, wow, said Annie. She told you too? So it must be important. But the dreams aren't real, said Jack. Some dreams aren't, but this one is, said Annie. I can just feel it. She opened the back door. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, I'm coming, said Jack. He raced up the stairs, having the same dream must mean something, he thought. He grabbed his backpack and threw his notebook and pencil into it. Then he ran downstairs. We'll be back soon, Mom, Jack called to the in, into the living room. Where are you going so early, his dad called. Just for a quick walk, said Jack. It rained last night, called Mom. Don't get your shoes wet. We won't. Jack slipped out the door. Annie was waiting for him. Let's go, he said. The sky was pale gray and the air felt freshly washed. Jack and Annie ran up their quiet street to the Frog Creek Woods. They handed... They headed between the trees. Soon they came to a tall oak in the woods, and there was a wooden house on top of the tree. It is back, whispered Jack. Someone looked out the window of the tree house, a lovely old woman with long white hair, Morgan Le Fay. Come up, called the magical librarian. Jack and Annie climbed up the rope ladder into the tree house. In the dawn light, they stared at Morgan Le Fay. She looked beautiful in the red velvet robe. Jack pushed his glasses into place, and he couldn't stop smiling. We both had dreams about you, said Annie. I know, said Morgan. You do? Yes, I sent them to you, said Morgan, because I need your help. What kind of help? asked Jack. Merlin the magician has been up to his tricks again, said Morgan, so I haven't had any time to collect books for Camelot's library. Can we collect them for you, asked Annie? Yes. But the order to gather books through time, you must be master librarians. Oh, well, said Annie sadly. But you can become master librarians, said Morgan, if you pass the test. Really, said Annie? What kind of test, Jack asked. You must show that you know how to do research, said Morgan, and show that you can find answers to hard questions. How, said Annie? By solving four riddles, said Morgan. She reached the folds of her robe and pulled out a rolled up paper. The first riddle is written in ancient scroll, she said. This book will help you find the answer. She held out the book. On the cover were the words, Ocean Guide. This is where you have to go, said Morgan. The ocean. Oh, boy, said Annie. She pointed to the cover. I wish we were. Stop, grab. Jack grabbed Annie's hand. How will we know if we found the right answer to the riddle, asked Morgan. You will know, Morgan said mysteriously. I promise you will know. Jack let go of Annie's hand, and she pointed again to the cover and finished her wish. I wish we could go there. The wind started to blow. Are you coming with us, Morgan, Jack said. Before Morgan could answer, the treehouse started to spin. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The treehouse spun faster and faster. Then everything was absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes, and Morgan Le Fay was gone. Only the ancient scroll and the ocean book were left in her place. Well, that's the end of chapter one. We'll come back later and read some more. I can't wait to see you guys. I really miss you. I hope you're having a great day. Remember, listen to your parents and do your work. You guys are doing a great job. I'm really proud of you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.